a lot of my plan burned up during the lockdown and so today i am here setting up with some more new indoor plants so let's get started with this vlog so that's the wall we are going to do something there so we just got some nails done yesterday from junk punk and this is a vlog which is going to be very raw and realistic and it's all realistic but it's going to be non edited version where i am going to set up all the indoor plants in my office space which got a little burned up during the lockdown so i am going to show you the sneak peek inside uh, how i am going to set up my indoor plants in my office space so few plants even thrived during this lockdown period like my zizi plant aloe veras and sansevierias the sansevierias they gave babies and they are thriving so hence proven that they can tolerate neglect and very hard conditions so here's the window So we are going to set up this window today. We just got off all the plants out, and here are some plants which I got from nursery and repotted it. And some of them I have multiplied at home while I was in lockdown. So these are the few things, and these are more plants, and these are more plants in the box which need to be set up in the planters. And I am just setting up my planters over here. Hello guys this is day 2 of uh, setting up the office and all the plants were almost uh, set up yesterday uh, on day 1 and but a lot of clean up and extra things are remaining then i'll give you a proper tour so let's get into that so i got some metal clips to do the meeting room wall and attach some threads so the it goes in the nail and hang some old magazine so here that's where uh, we enter from the office and there's this light above the staircase and here when we enter the office this is the these are the like plants we see at first and so these are usually the low light plants variety of sansevieria and erdrosina uh, So they have been put up here. They all are new. The zizi plant here has been there with me since very long. It survives low light. That's the door which leads uh, towards the pantry and the toilet area, and that's meeting room and reception on uh, each side. 
entering inside this is the toilet area and so here it's there is a spider plant it likes to thrive in a good medium light and some humid environment and that's sansevieria behind that which is now known as dracaena that's the reception desk and behind that i have arranged again some plants which Uh, can thrive in medium light or the artificial LED light. Uh, again, my favorite zinc plant is there. Some water bamboo. There are actually Dracaena, Dracaena variety only. Uh, behind that, that uh, with pink shear, that's Rohio. Moving towards the bookshelf, here are uh, the Sansevieria or Dracaena now. So these are placed here, and then some. Uh, a prayer plant more uh, sansevieria and a money plant is there that money plant gets light from the inside window directly so it thrives here in different light conditions sansevieria can survive in the bookshelf when even it's dark so i've kept it here for a reason and they look good as well and they need very less water like uh, once in a week in summer and twice in twice in a week in winter this is the office i have attached Uh, we have attached a uh, raw woolen fibers it also gives us the color palette as it's an architecture office so we need uh, to look at the colors to get some inspiration for a color palette so it's very helpful and it's the working area for all the architects and the designer that's the printer section again starting with my zebrina for the scanthia zebrina and the spider pub there some zizi plant they go well in good light and low light as well this is anthurium this we have newly set up here it will flower in some time i'm expecting so here are some philodendrons the big monster are deliciosa which we newly installed and they look amazing they just look amazing and they have very big leaves and they like to thrive in bright indirect light which uh, this place is giving it i think completely this, these are philodendron varieties they all grow very bushy and this is a diy i made i'll link down above i have made the video before this is a corner which gets indirect light it has fern peas lily some of you and some cryptanthus here and more sansevieria i made this terrarium open terrarium in one of the workshop and this is one more uh, succulent terrarium a calendar which i made this video is on my igtv instagram some more succulents this is asparagus fern money plant or oh, sorry pothos and it's hovertia that's again sansevieria i have a lot of sansevieria i have divided them and they propagate very fast for me some cryptanth uh, some pink star cryptanthus again succulent sansevieria succulent that's pothos which i propagated have some water as uh, it's summer so they keep humid some more succulents which uh, grew as a pup from the side of uh, my previous succulents this is havertia it has been thriving very well here it's very hardy that's monstera deliciosa that's again my bromeliad which i started with that's a spider pup it is there to grow the roots then pala palm and again the side we are coming to the anthurium very large leaves and they don't need overwatering they don't need less watering but yeah they grow very well their roots are very hardy and we have kept some artifacts over there and on the top we have this string of bananas or string of hooks so sinisio variety i guess in the in these ball open terrariums we have some havertia and uh, aloe gasteria this is the wall of the meeting room we installed with some metal clips some magazine and some more uh, products we use like uh, to match like the color palette i've 
so i hope you like this video and uh, this was a very rough vlog i shot something like this for the first time and uh, do let me know in the comment box below if you really like something like this uh, setting up and uh, space tour and please do subscribe to my channel junk funk and hit like if you really like this video i'll see you in the next video keep watching junk funk bye